In this video, we will perform two different types of nonlinear analysis using hypermesh and optistruct. First, we will run an interference fit analysis in which a steel bush is press fitted inside an aluminium bracket. This will be followed by applying pretension force on the same bracket by clamping it using a nut bolt assembly. So let's get right into it. The link for the CAD model used in this video is provided in the description. Feel free to download and use it to follow this video step by step to get a clear understanding of both these analysis types. The first step is to create material and property for all the components in the model. We will also create two additional properties for the contact regions to specify the contact settings properly. I have already meshed the model and separated the various parts in different components. The geometry consists of sheet metal bracket with inserted bush fittings as shown. It is clamped together with a nut bolt assembly. Let's create a new material and provide a proper name to it. We will assign the default mechanical properties of steel. We will create one more material and name it aluminum. Enter value of Young's modulus as 75,000. Poisson's ratio is 0 0.33. We will set the density value as 1.4 E-9. To define the behavior of the material beyond yield limit, check the box next to mat S1. Set the type as plastic and enter value of H as 0 0.5. Enter yield function yf as 1. We will set the yield stress value as 150 megapascal. Now create a new property. Change the card image to P solid. Assign the steel material in proper selection box. Now let's duplicate this property for aluminium components. Change the material selection to aluminium. We will assign the aluminium property to the bracket component. For all other components that is bolt, upper bush, lower bush and nut, the steel property will be specified. Now we will create a property for press fit contacts which will be created in the next step. Change the card image to P cont. Let's use value of static friction coefficient as 0 0.15. As we want to simulate an interference fit, enter appropriate value for clearance. We will set the separation field to NO. Let's duplicate this property to define a frictional contact. Interference is not needed for this contact, so we will reset the clearance field. We can allow separation for this type of contact. Now we will manually define the contact regions and specify the contact settings. We will also create an extra contact surface to apply the pretension load in the next step. Let's take a look at how these contact surfaces and contacts are defined in the model. Go to Tools, Contact Browser. Now we will create the contact regions at required locations. Let's start by creating a contact between bracket and upper bush. Change the slave and master types to surface. We will use the previously created press fit property for this contact. Create the contact. Let's swap the master and slave selections.
Similarly, let's create a contact between the bracket and lower bush. With the same settings, create the contact. Swap the master and slave to define the contact properly. Now we'll create a tied or gap contact between bolt and nut. Create the contact. We need a frictional contact between bolt surface and bracket. With contact type as touch, select the frictional property in selection box. Create the contact. Similarly, we will also create a frictional contact between the nut and bracket. In the model browser, we can now see the various contact surfaces that were created to define the contact regions. Let's review the contacts. The blue elements represent master entities and red elements represent slave entities. All the contacts have been defined properly. Open the mask panel by pressing F5. We will mask these elements to create a contact surface for the bolt pretension force. Create a new contact surface. Provide a name to it. In the element selection box, switch to add solid faces. Now select this face and add the elements to the surface. Let's unmask all the elements using mask panel. We can now start with the actual analysis setup. We will first create a load step for the interference fit analysis. The bracket will be constrained at a specific location and the stress and strains generated due to the press fitting of the bush inside the bracket will be observed during post-processing. Create a new load collector to store single point constraints. Now open the constraints tab from analysis panel. We will select all the nodes on this face of the bracket to create the constraints. Uncheck all the rotational degrees of freedom and create the constraints. Now create a new load step. Select the analysis type as nonlinear static. Select the SPC load collector in SPC selection box. Right click on NL param large displacement and click on create. We will set the number of implicit load increments to 10 and maximum number of iterations to 100. Let's also create the NLOut card to output nonlinear analysis data. Enter value of NINC as 10. Now we'll use this press fit load step as a starting point for the pretension analysis. We will apply the pretensioning load through the 3D bolt and observe the deflection of the plate during post processing. Let's take a look at how this is done. Go to Tools, Pretension Manager. Let's add a new 3D bolt using existing surface. Now select the pretension surface we created inside the bolt.
we will use load type as force. Create a new load collector for pretension force. Let's enter load magnitudes as 1000 Newton. Apply the pretension load. Now duplicate the press fit load step. Select the pretension load collector in appropriate selection box. As we want this load step to be a continuation to the press fit analysis, check the box next to CNTNL SUB and select the press fit load step in selection box. The analysis setup is now complete. Let's save the model. We will create some additional control cards to extract specific outputs from the analysis setup. These cards will also help to run the analysis more efficiently and reduce the overall solving time. Press Ctrl F and search for parameter card. Add it to the model. Search for check element and set it to no. Let's set expert nonlinear to contact stabilization. We will turn on hash assembly for faster solving of the analysis. Turn on NLA file to output nonlinear results. Now add the global output requests card to the analysis setup. Check the box next to cont f and set format as h3d to output contact force results. We will also output displacement results in h3d format. Let's do the same for strain and stress options to obtain these results for post processing. Now add the system setting card. We will set the number of cores to be used for solving this analysis by setting appropriate value in nproc CPU field. Save the model. Open Optistruct tab from analysis panel. Set export options to all and run options to analysis. Click on Optistruct to launch the nonlinear analysis solver. Let's view the results in Hyperview. Split the graphics area in two parts to observe the press fit and pretension results simultaneously. Load the same model in both windows. Let's synchronize the windows. Hide the bolt and nut component from model browser. Using the contours tab, apply the displacement results. To watch the animated results, switch to transient animation mode. Now we can observe the contact force results due to interference fit. We can also view the elemental strains generated in the components due to press fit operation. In the second window, we will switch to the second load step to view pretension results.
the deflection of the bracket due to bolt pretension is clearly visible. For better visualization, we can scale the results by any desired value. Let's observe the stresses generated in the bracket component. We have successfully simulated two different types of nonlinear analysis and viewed the displacement and stress results. And this is how we can perform nonlinear analysis using Hypermesh and OptiStruct. If you like this video, please hit the red subscribe button and give a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Make sure to follow me on social media to stay updated about latest content. Thanks for watching.